Have you ever wondered why some leaders out there have a big funnel of leads coming to them for their product, their service or opportunity, but not you? Actually, it might just be a few little tweaks to make to, to build a brand around you using attraction marketing just like they do for themselves. So in this episode number 107, I'm going to share with you three tips on how to use attraction marketing to build your own brand. So you attract people wanting what you have all the time. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvialexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online that attracts all the best qualified leads to your business so you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training and also I'm attaching a PDF of some sorts like a guide, a cheat sheet to empower you in your own way within your business and your personal life. In this episode number 107, I'm going to share with you three tips on how to use attraction marketing within your business. So first of all, what is attraction marketing? This is a way, it's a simple system to attract more eyeballs on you and your brand so people can build relationship with you much faster. This way, they're going to be more prone to actually ask you for more information about what you've got going on, your product, your service, your opportunity, thus wanting to buy from you or even join your team if you're building if you're building a team of some sort my first tip to make attraction marketing work for you and your business is to be yourself people buy into people being yourself will be the best thing that you can do for your business and in fact in life in general anyway however attraction marketing is not about sharing what you are not comfortable to share online Though you've got to share enough of who you are so people can relate to you. They, people love knowing that you are like them. That's the way you're going to attract your tribe, essentially. So you could share things that you're taking for granted, like even watering the plant, walking your dogs outside, brushing your teeth. I know it sounds silly, but that's the world we live in and people love to see the behind the scene. But again, share what you are comfortable to share and leave the rest. Keep it very private. My second tip to make attraction marketing work for your business is to do what works for you indeed. Attraction marketing is all about being authentic if used in an ethical way. What I mean by this is if, for example, you love dancing and you're crazy, you are a funny person, then just bring that to the table. Share your content through your personality. If you're someone who's more like, you know, chill out, sit down type of, sat down type of person who likes sharing the tips and talking through, you know, the videos, etc., then do this. Just be you. That is the best way to go about it for you to attract the, per the people that relate to you and you will have a good time to work with. On the same line, I would definitely suggest to decide if you want to lead with the products or the opportunity business side of what you're doing. For example, if you're a makeup artist and you are serving bridles, you can, you know, do all the tutorials, talk about makeup all day long, before and afters. Now, if you are building a team of makeup artists, you might do some tutorials here and there, but you are most likely going to talk about tips on how to run a team, what to do behind the scene with the team, to attract the people towards you so they know who they, who they work with, who they are potentially going to work with and, and teach them how to do the same for their own business. If you're network marketing, same thing applies. You've got to pick whether you are dealing, leading with the business or leading with the product of what you do. So if you are in a health and wellness company that has weight loss programs, for example, then you might do some before and afters of stories of your customers or people in your team or customers of your team that are having results, maybe your own journey as well. You could do product, you know, post all day long, talk about the benefit of what you're, sa of what you're sharing without naming the, the, the product or the company's, the company's name. 
However, if you're building, if you're more onto the business side of your opportunity, your MLM network marketing business, then you are most likely going to share some trainings type of content. You're going to share how to attract leads to your business. You're going to, you know, all this kind of stuff that all this type of content that are going to be relevant. You've got to be congruent in with what you are sharing on a regular basis. So your audience is not getting confused, right? As you know, each and every single week, I do bring you a PDF, a cheat sheet, a guide of some sort to empower you in your business. This week, because we're talking about attraction marketing, how to attract leads, best qualified leads into your business, I created a freebie, which is the personal branding guide that is going to help you position yourself as an authority within your field. If you want to get access to this guide, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. If you are on my YouTube channel or any other platforms, just go around this video. You'll see a description section somewhere. In there, you will have access to the link taking you back to my blog. And once you're there, you'll see a massive yellow button below this video again. Once you click it, you'll receive my personal branding guide into your email box. And my final tip to make attraction marketing work for you and your business is to build your tribe. What I mean by this is to know who is it that you want to serve. So for example, bridles, makeup artists, network marketers, people who want to lose weight, girls that are going to the proms so you can do their makeup. Who is it that you want to serve? This is really important because that will make your life much easier to know where they are. You can find them and make sure that your message is put across to the right people so they can relate to your message. The reason for knowing your audience to be so important is that it will make your life much easier. Once you know their pain, their struggles, their challenges, their dreams, everything that can help you craft a message that is talking to them is going to help you in the process to have a better time and also knowing where they are hanging out. That way you don't have to wonder where to find your next person to talk to. Attraction marketing is knowing your brand and the people you want to positively impact and also the message that you need to put out there for them to be relating to it. In conclusion, just make sure to be unique, have fun, do the things the way you like to do them, attract the people that you really want to build life with, you will have fun with, but intentionally go out there and find those who you truly want to serve. And remember, I've got your back with my personal branding guide, which is going to help you position yourself as an authority in your field. By clicking this yellow button below this video, you will have access to that guide immediately into your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know what to do. You can smash the share button, send that to your fellow makeup artists, network marketers, entrepreneurs, whomever you believe needs to know about attraction marketing and how they can attract leads in their business naturally without pretending to be someone they are not. Question of the week, who is it that you want to serve? Share with me in the comment section the audience you would like to serve. Who is it that you think you would have an ease to talk to on a regular basis? And also that you would, like, you would love to help with whatever they have going on and that they can benefit from your product, service or opportunity. I would love to know who is it that you'd like to serve if you have any if you need any help to figure out your best ideal audience, please feel free to also comment below and I will make sure to help you out with this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love connecting with you each and every single week. This episode is a wrap, but I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye-bye.